It is Mayor Monday here on Halton News, and this week we're happy to be joined by Mayor Rob Burton of Oakville. Good afternoon, Mayor. Good afternoon. Good to see you. So let's go back a little bit here. I wanted to start with you. This is the first time we've had to chat after the election, and it was once again a very close one for you. I just wanted to get your thoughts on election night. You know, what were you thinking there as you watched the numbers come in? Well, this, uh, I suppose, uh, I guess I would correct you gently. It was the closest ever is what it was. Um, if you uh, don't count my first election where I lost by 12 votes, uh, that was a bit closer than this and in the wrong way. <laughs> so that night as votes were coming in, I mean, you were seeing another close race. Well, you know, what were your thoughts as you were watching the tallies? Well, uh, I guess the way the way you have to look at it is uh, uh, as the as the votes are coming in, uh, we're looking at them and noticing that we're ahead and our tiny little opening margin inches up as the evening goes on. And we're wondering, can can we be caught? You know, are we far enough ahead that we can win? We were so focused on that that we didn't notice when a few minutes uh, after the polls closed, uh, the television networks called it for us. So uh, we lived in an extra hour and a half of suspense that perhaps we might not have lived through if we'd been paying attention to the uh, to the TV set in the back of the bar. Well, hey, you know what? It worked out uh, in a good way for you this time around, as it did last time. You are back. And as we get into this new run for you as mayor, what is the first action that you thought, hey, you know what? Everyone's called it. We're into it again. What is the first thing that you wanted to get done as mayor this time around? Well, the first thing we have to do every term is uh, have we've always had uh, 20 to 30 percent uh, turnover on council. So we've always had renewal every election. Uh, and that's this five elections that I've won now. And there's been renewal every time. So uh, first order of business is orientation and to welcome the new members of council and uh, help them understand uh, what our lane is and what we're allowed to do by uh, the all knowing, all powerful mother province, which is always a shock to new council members because they, and many of the residents of Oakville, believe that the local council are the supreme leaders of the universe, and we dictate to the premier and the prime minister, whereas, alas, it's a little bit the other way around. Yeah, just slightly, but nonetheless, you can get things done, obviously, as mayor with your council of the town. And I'm, you know, I'm curious, over the next four years, do you have a personal goal? You know, we, we've heard about housing expansion and, and all of that and everything that you're fighting, but you personally, going into this term, do you have a personal goal over the next four years that you would like to accomplish? Well, yes, I, I ran on quite a platform of goals. Uh, there's probably 80 things in the platform, so... Uh, you know, 20 of them a year would be going some good. Uh, the biggest things are the 2000 acre eco park, the the uh, long overdue uh, new cultural facilities for the downtown Oakville, which uh, I almost got built in the first two terms that I had, but we uh, we made a decision that we'd rather have a brand new hospital than uh, a brand new performing arts center back in the day. And uh, we didn't know when we made that decision that uh, there'd be a pandemic and we might be very glad to have the hospital that we have. So sometimes uh, the decision that you make uh, is better uh, looking later on when you, when you discover that you needed it. Uh, but then in addition to that, we have a parking uh, problem in our three Main Street uh, shopping areas, Kerr and Brawny and Oakville. And the, we want people in those shopping districts. And so we need to provide more parking if we're going to achieve all of our goals in that regard. And, you know, our economy needs to be as strong as possible. The, uh, uh, one of the things I'm proud of is, proudest of is saving the Ford plant three times. And uh, now it's going to be a uh, worldwide center for the manufacture of electric vehicles. And there's obviously, at least to me anyway, there's obviously opportunity for economic development 
as suppliers for that particular kind of vehicle will need to be located near the plants that assemble them. And so there's a, every prospect that we can continue our terrific uh, economic development. We have a target. Uh, it's interesting, nobody knows. I, I, for some reason, nobody wants to remember or know that the province sets targets for population and for jobs. And our target for jobs is about 100,000 jobs and we have 110,000 jobs, which is to say we overachieve there. Our target on population is, uh, we're not overachieving it, but on the other hand, we are achieving it. And, uh, you know, it's very plain from the, uh, from the figures and the, and the legislation that the province has uh, passed and is passing that uh, there's a crisis in housing supply and the legislature and the premier have pretty much issued an all hands on deck order and uh, set some very high expectations. Uh, Oakville was supposed to grow by 2000 housing units a year for the next 10 years. In fact, for the next 30 years, but for the next 10 years, uh, they're calling on us to um, increase by 3000 housing units a year. And for context, we have probably 78, uh, let's just round it off. We, we have nearing 80,000 housing units in the, in the town of Oakville. And, uh, and in a good year or a normal year, we usually complete 1,800 to 2,000 a year. Uh, we used to complete, uh, there used to be actually more than that uh, in the high growth era of the 90s where the town fell behind on its uh, facilities to keep up with growth. But uh, since I've been mayor, we've done, and, and I, I give us an A plus in keeping up on facilities because we've doubled our playing fields, doubled our rec centers, doubled our arenas. Uh, and we've added quite a few other things uh, that nobody ever thought of wanting before. So, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a job ahead for this council and next councils and all the councils I can see out for the next 30 to 50 years to uh, build the things that the community needs, the facilities, the parks, the playgrounds, the libraries, the arenas, the rec centers, all of that, uh, that we'll need to keep up with growth. And if we don't, uh, well, the growth will still come and it just won't be as livable as it could be. Lots of work ahead over the next four years, Mayor Burton. Uh, happy to have you along for the next four years and happy to have you back here once a month on Mayor Mondays. Thanks for your time today. Well, thank you. Uh, you just heard my inaugural speech, I just realized. 